Hi, I am your host, Kim Warner. I, I am here discussing the alchemy of divorce and separation. Well, 2020 has brought us into a year of confusion. And without understanding, we will remain to be confused. So alchemy of divorce and separation. One of the things that we have to remember is separation and divorce can take time, meaning the feelings, the emotions can take time to overcome. So be gentle with yourself. The other thing is time depends on the memory body and the tools you have to overcome the memories, thoughts, and the pain that was acquired in the relationship. Um, the, the, the memory body is that part of us subconsciously that ascertains um, all of the thoughts that we have acquired in the relationship with an individual. Um, this could be more than one relationship that may have been compiled into um, the one that you're overcoming now. And a lot of people don't understand that if I jump into one relationship after I um, just got out of a painful relationship, I can't or I don't have time to deal with the emotions that I have uh, acquired in the relationship, meaning that we acquire pain in the relationships. We also acquire happy feelings. Um, and most people um, tend to gravitate towards the pain. If I could replace um, some of the painful times with the happy memories, that would help me to overcome because um, one of the things with humans is, is that we kind of dwell on the hurt. And it's okay, again, to focus on the hurt, but I must turn that pain into gain. And yeah. that means that I have to find something productive to do with it. Production means to process it and make it better, uh, rather than getting bitter, rather than um, lashing out at the person or people rather than um, staying in a position of hurt. And as I do that, what I um, will find possibly is that there is a new life waiting for me. I also might find that if there was not an agreement for the divorce and I am the one that's hurting, that I was given an opportunity for something better to come into my life. Um, Many of us come to crossroads in our lives and we're not the same people that we met or, or who we are, who we were when we met, you know? And because of that, um, we're changing. You know, if you met someone five years ago and you were married to them or in a relationship with them, five years is going to bring us to um, times, places, uh, of change. We are mentally changing because we're growing. It's just like a child growing from five years old to 10 years old or, you know, going into the kindergarten and you excel to the first grade. All of this brings changes. And this is something that we don't look at as humans. We look at what we're growing through. We look at the pain in most cases. And again, it's good because a lot of people avoid pain. They avoid looking at it, and then they jump into relationships again, which causes, you know, baggage. And the best thing to offer anybody is a knowledge of knowing that when you are coming out of a relationship, you really should consider taking time with yourself because the relationship ended for a reason. It wasn't just you for the other person, it was both of you, which means that you need to take time to find out what part you played in the breakdown of the relationship. Um, and then find how you can build yourself up because oftentimes people blame others and we all have a part to play in the breakdown of a relationship that goes into divorce or separation. Um, some people can work it out because they realize their fault. But if it's come to a place where there is a divorce, then it's time to accept some things. And by all means, you can exercise your faith that healing can come in because 
that's the power of our spiritual foundation. Um, when you're going through something like this, uh, the way that you're going to change um, the situation or um, the outcome is going to be by the use of your spiritual foundation. So um, if you want to know more about the alchemy of divorce and separation, go to the link that you will find and purchase um, the lesson. It will reward you. It will bring you to pivotal moments in your life where you will see that you still have a life worth waiting for or that's waiting on you because many people go into depression. Um, they sink down and they believe that they're not good enough. But you got to look at another perspective, which is, is that um, your partner did you justice um, and something greater is waiting for you. All right. So blessings and healing. And I'll talk to you soon.